Uh, hi, gentlemen. So, uh, Lee, I, I mentioned to you today that I was thinking about uh, putting the <clears throat> thing that I was currently working on to a live server, but I believe I already know the answer to this uh, problem. So, anyway, Woo uh, Commerce has these themes, and this one's a free theme. And just as a simple example, on the theme that I have been testing, it has an image for your uh, <clears throat> store name, for your logo. Well, here already you can see it's text. So guess what? That gets picked up by the search engines, whereas logos don't necessarily. Now, maybe in, on the back end, if you put a meta tag for your logo, like Piano Heritage or whatnot, it's always good to have text. The more text, the better. Um, so anyway, so this is their basic free theme. We'll have to purchase maybe a couple small things to uh, make it a little bit better. We won't be putting this on here. This is a uh, parallax hero extension, it looks like. Uh, but ultimately, look, we have what we need, the three product categories. Uh, recent products, I'm sure we can organ uh, organize these the way uh, that we would like to with various colors and things like that. Um, you know build our own footer, um, all those things that we need. Um, it has a blog, um, the shop, we will have to purchase the mega menu. I, I like this mega menu because we can have our categories and other various pages here. So I do like that. Um, their search functionality is not great, but look, there's an Ajax plugin. So uh, again, another small add-on we can add. So when people are searching for Yamaha, you know, kind of like it does on your current site, um, you know, P255, and then you get a drop down. So these are kind of small things that we can add um, as needed rather than having everything in the world on your website and then trying to remove things. We can just start with this basic simple uh, website and then add things as we need them. So um, it has everything we need a blog. You have your product categories. I'm sure there's options for collapsing these. So you'd have like, uh, you know, grand pianos, digital pianos, etc. And then you could drop them down. And uh, we can style these in different ways, I'm sure. You know, so we'll just have to do some customization. But this, as you can see, you know, as I'm going through here, it's, it's lightning fast. This is what we want. This is what people are going to look for. The only way they're going to stay on your site is if it's fast. So... Anyway, I'm, I'm proposing we, we start with this storefront theme. I'll create a child theme so we can uh, kind of uh, make it uh, look like we want it to look, add some things that we want to add. And because it's powered by Woo Themes, who does the WooCommerce shopping cart software, they keep it up to date when they update their shopping cart uh, software. So we don't have to worry about a third-party theme not updating their theme when WooCommerce updates their themes. So this is something we have to think about as we go into the future and start, you know, uh, customizing our shop. If we're customizing a third-party theme and they stop supporting it, that theme, what are we doing at that point? You know, so we, we want to minimize the amount of problems. We want to minimize the amount of code. We want your site to be fast and be able to be found and be able to be indexed higher on the list. It may not have all the bells and whistles, but we don't need all the bells and whistles. We just want it to look good. We want it to be fast. We want it to have the functionality, and we want to be found. We don't want to lose our uh, Google ranking and status because we upload a slow site that looks really pretty and has lots of cool features that take five, six seconds to load. So anyway, I may still just test that theme just for my own, just for fun's sake and see how it's quick I can get it to uh, load um, and, I, and I'll let you know uh, the results of that as well but uh, I think I'm, I'm leaning toward this really light theme and then just kind of customizing it to what we need and then that way we stay up to date when uh, WooCommerce updates their uh, software they update their themes especially this one this is their basic free theme um, I'm gonna send you the link to this as well all right, let me know if any questions.